One of the great things I love about ManyChat when you're doing chatbot marketing is the ability for the chatbot to send people up to a website. So whether you're doing a dream home finder ad in Facebook and from that ad, the bot talks to them about the great homes they have in a carousel. I have some videos on my channel that talk specifically about the dream home finder uh, and it directs them up to your website. I use KV Core here at eXp, so they go up to my website, but what did they do once they went up to the website? Or another use case is maybe you're doing a real estate webinar on a, a first time buyer's webinar. You send them up to a website to register, but did they actually register? All those events are lost once the bot sends them to the website until now. In this short video, I'm gonna show you how to use the many chat pixels and conversions to place on those web pages so the chatbot can also find out what they did when they got up to the website. And more importantly, I'm gonna show you the Smarty Ninja trick what to do when those events get fired by having the bot wake up and respond to them later on about that page visit. I really appreciate you here. I'm Smarty with the ProEdge Marketing Team. And if you haven't already, consider subscribing to the channels. I provide actionable videos each week with technology and tools. I'm a technologist by heart, and I'm here to help you become a stronger realtor in your market, closing more deals, and making this the best decade ever. And also consider liking the video and put some comments down below as I always love responding to your questions that you may have on the videos. I'm here to help you. Let's hop over to ManyChat and let me show you how to set up the pixels. And I'm going to show you an example with my rent to own page that I have up on Groove, how to add the tracking code on that website so we could track those critical conversions. So let's hop over. Okay, so let's start over on the ManyChat side, what you could do to set up the pixel data, where you get the code from, and then we'll also talk about the flows and the, what's called conversion codes. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna go to settings, and at the very bottom, you're gonna grab the pixel code. So this is the code that's gonna go in the header of your website. So I'll show you an example of my rent own site in a minute where I'm pasting that code in. You also wanna check out what's called the learn more. So they have a great help section here. There's two different types of uh, events that can be tracked on a website. One is just a more of like a page visit. So an example use case there is if I'm running a webinar and they, I, the bot sends them to a website to register for the webinar, when they actually register, I send them to a thank you page or a confirmation page. That page visit can be tracked in many chat to show uh, me that they have actually registered for the webinar. Uh, another type of event could be a button. So, for example, when they uh, get confirmation of a webinar uh, registration, I have a button that says invite a friend. So I could have another event that's being fired to track if they pushed a button on my website, invite a friend. And I can do something there like thank them on the bot. So different types of events. So let me hop over to Groove for a second. And uh, this works in any website. So if you're using ClickFunnels, you're using Chime, you're using Wix, you're using KV Core, whatever website you have, there's the ability to put code in the head file. So this will work on any of your websites out there. You're literally gonna come down and you're gonna look for the tracking area of your website. And this is where I place the code. So one of the uh, items I'm using is I have a rent to own page visit is the actual event I'm looking to fire. And in many chat, this is what's called the conversion uh, code. So uh, you'll see that in a minute, I'll hop back over to, to, to ManyChat. And I'm looking to if they visited this page. So if I come back over to ManyChat, after I get the code and I put it on my website, down here in the uh, conversion events, um, this is where you're gonna set up different types of events. So here in my package, I have the, uh, the one that you just saw was, um, I put code on there for tracking the rent to own page visit. And you're gonna paste that in the code uh, that you, paste in your header file. And I'll have some samples that I can give you if, you, if you'd if you like to see my, my actual code samples, put some comments on the video here and I'll make sure I get you a link over to where you can access a Google Drive where I have a, all my, um, my shared um, uh, code for pixels, specifically in this case for the rent own. I also have conversion events here when somebody schedules a call. So they click a button in many chat, they go up to Calendly. When they schedule that call, I have that event so I can fire. Uh, Rental Karma, I have one for credit, people that are challenged with credit. So uh, different areas there. Um, the registration of it, email collections. And you simply just have to create an event. If it has uh, cost to it, you could say, 
uh, it's US dollars and, and then you'll track a monetary dollar on your pixel event itself. So that's more of your selling something here in ManyChat. So that's basically how you set up the code. So uh, if I come over to um, the uh, ManyChat system here under the flows, I'll show you an example of where I get people to the website. And that's under what I call my rent to own start flow. So basically if I zoom in, uh, when somebody responds to an ad in my Facebook page, so I run a Facebook ad or Instagram ad for the rent to own program, somebody uh, says learn more and they come into the bot, the bot's gonna say, you know, I can go over the rent to own programs here on Messenger or you can go over to my website for details. So basically what we're doing is this go to website, I'm directing them up to the website I just showed you, my rent to own website. So now they're up there and maybe they're registering for the webinar. And that's the event I wanna track. So step one here in ManyChat is you must have a button they push to fire the pixel data. So you put the pixel data up on your website, they click the button, and now that pixel's now gonna start tracking what they're doing on that website. That's step number one. Now, as you go in here, my ninja trick is if I come back to flows, what you can also do is create a, uh, a flow after they actually visit. So I have a flow that I created, a simple step here, and these are easy to create in many chat. If you have any questions, I'm here to support you. But basically what I'm doing is, and I'm gonna show you how to fire this thing, is in my flow here, and I deliberately uh, moved this away, you could delay, have a smart delay. So maybe you send them up to the website and you wanna wait 30 minutes or wait an hour or wait 15 minutes. When you click on this, you could do it by seconds, minutes, hours, or days later. You could say how, how, how long. So in this case, maybe I wanna wait 30 minutes. Here I would put 30 minutes uh, as a delay kicker. And what I would do is I'd start with the delay and then I'd say, hey, thanks for visiting my website. Do you have any questions? So to show this actually working, I'm gonna uh, not do a delay here for the video, but basically what you're gonna see is after they visit the website, um, they click on visit the website, the bot's gonna then say, in fact, let me just do a simple one. I'll just do, uh, let me just do seconds and I'll do like a 15 second delay um, here. Um, so, and actually I'll connect it now. So we'll have a little delay. But in this case, what we're doing is they go to the website, the pixel's tracking them up there, and then it's gonna fire the pixel, and then that event that gets fired will then start this flow. And this flow is gonna thank them for visiting the website, ask them if they have any questions. And then over here, I can tag that they have a question. And then over here, I'm basically saying, hey, first name, I'll send the, your question over to Smarty. Smarty will get back to you real quick. And then I also have, do you wanna uh, schedule a call with Smarty, pick a time. And then over here, one of the things you could do is fire an event there, which was my schedule call event you see in this particular action. So that's how that's working here. And then at the end, I wait a few seconds. I say, thanks. We look forward to speaking with you. Have a nice day. So this flow here, the way I'm going to, uh, the ninja trick I'm going to show you is up in ManyChat, you could set up a rule. And in the rule, I have a rule set up that's using the event tracker. So let me show you how this works uh, on the rule is basically if I get rid of this guy, just to start, I'll confirm and get rid of it. You're basically creating a trigger in ManyChat based on either time, a tag being created. These are how the rules work. I have a video on my channel specifically going over ManyChat rules. What I'm gonna be doing is using what's called an, a log conversion event rule so that when the, the pixel tracks that they actually registered for the webinar, we're gonna identify that we wanna trigger an event and the event we're gonna do is we're gonna start a flow. And basically I'm gonna have the bot kick off this particular flow so it could have that conversation. When you create these rules, you wanna make sure that it's active. So if it's not active, it won't fire. But now let's see this thing in action. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come over to ManyChat. I'm gonna go into my file and let me go into my start the conversation and let me hit edit and preview. And this is gonna open up in Messenger. So over here on my Messenger app, you see that the chatbot just sent that message that you saw a few minutes ago. And let's say they, they say, I wanna go up to the website. So I click that button and now what you're not seeing is I, I opened up the website, but you're hearing some uh, beeps on my computer here. Uh, the chatbot is already talking to me that they, that event happened. I, I sent somebody to the website. 
but now they're on the website. So on the website, that fired the rule that said, thank you for visiting my website. Do you have any questions? And how long does it take to get into a home? So they can ask a question after they visit the website. I'm storing that as a stored value and I'm sending a, a text reminder to Smarty in my case with the question the person had. So now I get it, the question they asked and it says Smarty will get back to you very quickly. I also give them an option to schedule time on my calendar. So this is linked up to my Calendly and they can go out and pick a time and uh, confirm the event here like this. So that is basically how it works. Okay, so now over here on ManyChat, I'm gonna show you where you access all the event data so you can analyze how your real estate business is doing. How many people are reading blogs, how many people are registering for webinars, whatever you've set up in your chatbot with those pixels. So inside of ManyChat, on the main uh, home page, move over from the Learning Hub over to Insights. On Insights is where you can analyze your business. In this case, Smarter the Realtor, I can see all my channels, how many people are talking to me on each of the channels. I can come down to my active contacts, my demographics of men and women, all the great data that Facebook is providing us here on the chatbot marketing. There's also a revenue side on earnings. So if you are selling things like uh, master classes and books and uh, courses and stuff, you'll also be able to track your financial side of your business. But if you come all the way to the bottom here, you, you'll see all your uh, conversion events right here and you can start doing reporting. So I could say how many people registered for my uh, webinar? I have three people today. How many people scheduled calls on my calendar? Uh, it'll show that I have two people that uh, scheduled calls today. How great is this? You'll be able to analyze day by day and what's happening. And over here, I can do searches by quarter, by year over year. I could pick dates and really analyze what's happening in my business as a realtor with all the marketing I'm doing, how many people are actually interacting and what are they doing when they're on those websites. This is all thanks to the power of a Facebook and, and uh, ManyChat Pixel. So get your Pixel working today. If you have any questions, I'm here to support you. Put some comments below, I'll answer any questions you have. I also wanna alert you that very soon, this week, hopefully this week sometime, I'll be updating all the descriptions on all the videos on my channel with some new links for you. I'm releasing a brand new masterclass for Facebook as well as ManyChat. So if you wanna be a ManyChat ninja, make sure you access that masterclass. And I also have my digital business card and all these are complimentary by Smarty. So you'll be able to sign up and, and go through some detailed training on the whole chatbot package. Um, so look for those. I really appreciate you being here and if you, like this video, give me some thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, consider subscribing. I'm here to support you every step of the way. Enjoy.